While you're struggling to manage your money this time of year, of course, with the holiday season, it is easy to get off track. <laughs> and you can actually take some notes from Buddy the Elf or Clark Griswold. Yeah, you can. Certified financial planner Tony Drake from Drake & Associates is here this morning with financial lessons that you can learn from some of your favorite holiday films. I want to say, really? Yeah, really. I think so. <laughs> you, you can know, really learn lessons from I these mean, films? some of these holiday favorites are great to watch this time of year. It's yeah, such okay. a fun time of year. And money can be a difficult topic, so I think yeah. maybe we can use some lessons from some of these movies to encourage us to work a little bit harder on our finances. Yeah, and it's, and it's easier to understand, too, when you uh, can relate to some of these situations. Yeah, that's for sure. I think when we talk about the classics also, the lesson will be driven home easier because they're movies that we are familiar with already. Yeah, it's a time of year I came home, my nine-year-old had a list of movies we had to watch this Ooh, season, okay. and some of these were on the list. So. Okay, <laughs> so let's start with one of my favorites, Elf, Buddy oh, the Elf. Oh, Elf yeah. is great, isn't he? He's such a positive guy. Yeah. I think we can learn from Elf's positivity, right? And sometimes these financial topics can be difficult, yes. particularly if you've got it and into debt. A lot of great studies show staying positive, help us stay on track, so okay. stick to a plan and make sure you're really getting that debt paid off. That's probably the biggest thing I see weighing down our retirees is that's a big burden in retirement. Okay, um, moving on. Yeah, National Lampoons. Uh, you guys remember those? Yeah, yeah, Clark Griswold. Yeah. That was a great one, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. He had his uh, down payment on the pool before the holiday bonus came in, right? Right. And then. So that, I mean, next. It, it's yeah. dead again, right? We can't spend money we don't have. This is a time of year. I think so many of us were out at the malls, online, however you like to shop, we're racking up that debt. The so enticements are everywhere. Isn't really? it something? And it's yeah. all the impulse to the yes. buys. It's really tough yeah. to deal with. But stick to your budget if you don't have one that's a foundation of any great financial plan we have a great worksheet on our website wealthwisconsin.com it's a good starting point but holiday too have a separate budget for the holidays yeah. really make sure you're sticking to it because to your point it is so easy all the enticements yeah, it it's is. so it easy is. to jump hey, on just those. real quick question in terms of budget um is there a certain percentage of maybe your paycheck that you should be spending on holiday gifts because like you know how if you are saving for an engagement ring it should be what like 10 percent or something well it depends if you're okay. asking the guy or <laughs> No, I think uh, percentage-wise, maybe, maybe not. I think it depends a little bit on the overall income. Okay. We don't really work with the percentage there. Our most successful uh, clients, I think, are the ones that are setting money aside throughout the year so they have the, the cash available to spend versus racking up that credit yeah. card okay. with debt. It also helps afford. in a situation like that if you don't have a lot of money to plan early. Absolutely. Uh, Nicole always talks about paying attention and listening so you can get, I mean, you can do all through the year, do your Christmas shopping, so you don't feel like you're not giving enough. I think you get some great yeah. deals throughout the year, or yeah. maybe it's just sticking a little bit of money aside, and then yeah. you have the pot of money to spend it yeah. at the holiday season. All right. Well, let's move on to the next movie, uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. That's a great one, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Have you guys see that one? So yeah. I, I love the Grinch story because it's really about the holidays, Christmas being coming from the heart, not yeah. about kind of what monetary the things. Stuff you have, yeah. Yeah. And there's some actually interesting studies that show people who spend money on experiences yes. seem to have stronger relationships, yeah. whether it's with your kids, significant others, and, and have more lasting memories. So maybe learning to spend some money on experiences versus just extra stuff that's going to pile up yes. somewhere can make a big exactly. difference. And last but not uh, um, least, The Christmas Carol. That's a great one. Yeah, Scrooge, right? Definitely yeah. a classic, yeah. Scrooge, I think, really learned about giving and, and how that enhanced not just himself, but the community right. around him. A lot of people learned the hard way with the new tax code that they weren't able to deduct those charitable contributions. Mm -hmm. So we're working with a lot of our clients on charitable strategies, ways to still get the tax benefit and hopefully still give. Giving went down quite a bit last year with the new tax code, so yeah. we're encouraging yeah. people to be generous and give. Yeah. It blesses your own heart, doesn't it? it? It sure does. I mean, not just your own, but so many folks in the, in the community, Very I think, true. that are less fortunate. Yeah, There's so many ways true. we can help, not just monetary, volunteering, lots of things you can do to help awesome. those that need it. Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you, guys. It's Tony a pleasure. Drake. All right, short break. We'll be right back.